Hello to my amazing APers. How are you this morning? I hope this is finding you healthy, happy, and well, you and your families. Um, welcome to remote learning. And as I said on the Google Hangout, those of you who saw it, we're all learning right now. So I appreciate your patience with me. Um, we will perhaps try a Google Hangout or Google Meet. I'm learning both of those in the future so that we can see each other. But for right now, this is how I'm gonna communicate a little bit of information to you. Um, it is Lent, it's a time of sacrifice. We are all learning a little bit more about that word right now. We're having to sacrifice being able to meet together. But I wanna assure you that you will be getting what you need. I know that there is a great deal of anxiety right now about AP exams. Please understand that Ms. Barrow and all of your AP teachers are staying in constant contact with College Board. At the moment, no exams have been postponed. Um, they are investigating ways, given what uh, the situation is, to see that they can go ahead and give you credit for what you have uh, learned and what you are able to do. Um, and test in perhaps a different situation than we normally would. Any information that we get, we are absolutely going to be passing along to you. But remember, you can go to collegeboard.com or .org and look there yourself. They've been posting Facebook updates, so you might see if you um, want to go to that on Facebook or one of the other platforms and see if you've got an update posted there as well. But you will be prepared for what you will be asked to do. That I promise you. We have covered, I would say, 90% of everything that you need. We have one essay type of the question left. Yes, the synthesis question. But at its heart, it's still an argument. So we have covered what you will need to be able to write that. We're just going to have to work a little bit with some sources. That'll probably be next week or the following. And we'll do that once we can talk a little bit better than just a recorded video for you. For this week, let me walk you through a little bit of what I have prepared. So each Friday or Thursday night, you'll be getting an email with your instructions for the week. You will have a week, so till the following Thursday, to complete any work that's been assigned. Um, you will see in your class notebook a new tab titled Remote Learning. So I've set these up by weeks. So for week one, it starts Friday the 20th and goes to the 26th. So this video that I'm recording right now will be your first checkoff activity. I just have them listed as a check checklist of activities, not day one, day two, day three. You are free to do them on separate occasions or all at once. That's up to you, as long as you have everything completed when you need it to be. So the first thing is to watch this video. The second one, you have two readings on Actively Learn. I know many of you have your notifications set. I saw a couple of people have already answered questions. Good for you. Uh, but those you are to complete. For the next activity, there are three assignments I've created on Albert for you to complete to practice. Two uh, include the writing questions. One is just straight a reading passage. I have set the timers on these and you will not be able to see the answers until after you've completed them. So we've done a lot of practice with questions. Now it's crunch time. So this is something you can practice at home. Um, the, so there are the titles. There are how many questions are in each one and how many minutes you're gonna have to complete these. You do need to devote that number of minutes and do it all in one sitting, each one, not all three. Your fourth activity is to read your text. Um, hopefully you took this home with you. You were told to be reading anyway over that weekend, so you should have your book. Your second portion, remember we divided your book into thirds, so your middle section is what you need to have completed by next Thursday. So you will be doing your reader's response. You can type it on a Word document or a Google Doc, but you will be submitting it to turnitin.com. Your assignment instructions are there, but I've also typed them here. I think, um, actually I had to type them here because it was a little too lengthy for what Turnitin will take. But these are your two main questions, and then I've given you a third piece for you to respond to. Remember to embed textual support, 
check your MLA citation. Those are all things that are leading up to your points. So in total, this will be 50 points. It's going in as a minor assessment. You do have one major grade already. That will be your timed writing that you completed before we disbanded and left for the um, this little inst uh, hiatus, let's say. Uh, remember that this is not a vacation. It's a change in location, and we have a great opportunity here to prove what we can do. If you have any questions, I'll be available from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., Monday through Friday, by email. You can email me certainly outside of those times, and I might respond, but just know that those are my working hours for right now. Um, so I wish you all good luck, and I look forward to seeing and reading your responses.